What if I offered you a choice? You can either have $100 today or you can have $100 one year from today. Which one of these would you choose? I'm willing to bet that you would pick $100 today. Why would I wait to have $100 a year from today when I could just have $100 right now? Give me the opportunity to change your mind. I'm gonna slightly modify my original offer. Now I'm going to offer you either $100 today or you can have $102 one year from today. Which option will you choose now? I'm willing to bet that you would still pick the $100 today because $2 a year from today probably doesn't make it worth it to forego the $100 that you could have right now. It seems as though I haven't found the right offer for you yet, but let me entice you with perhaps an even sweeter offer. I will either give you $100 today or $110 one year from today. Which will you choose? I'm willing to bet that I have now made the future value high enough that you would prefer to have $110 one year from today over just a hundred dollars today we now know that my 110 dollars was a very appealing offer perhaps too appealing so what would be the amount of money that would make you completely indifferent between taking my money today versus in the future let's say that if i offered you a hundred today versus a hundred and six dollars in the future you are pretty much indifferent towards both of these decisions we have just found your time value of money. So now that we know that $6 is the amount that I have to add to the $100 to make you indifferent towards taking the money today versus one year from today, we can just do some simple math and take six divided by 100 and find that the interest rate for our time value of money is 6%. Now that we know our time value of money, let's go over some really simple math. Here we're looking at our formula for future value, which we'll call FV. It is equal to the present value multiplied by 1 plus R, the interest rate, to the exponent of N, which is the number of years. So in our example, it was our future value of $106 was equal to our present value of $100 multiplied by 1 plus, and we said our interest rate was 6%, to just one year because we we're looking at a one year time horizon. We could state the same formula in a different way and start with future value and work back to our present value. So here we're going to see that our present value PV is going to be equal to our future value of $106 divided by one plus the interest rate of 6% to the exponent of the number of years, which was just one in that brings us back to our present value of $100 today. Now keep in mind that your time value of money is still 6%. So I'm gonna offer you one more choice. I will either give you $100 today or I will give you $118 three years from today. Which of these two options do you prefer? You might be tempted to think, well, my interest rate's six percent. That means I get six dollars a year. So three years of six dollars a year, I end up with an eighteen dollars of interest. And so one hundred and eighteen dollars should be equal to one hundred dollars today. But that's not the case because interest compounds. So let's use a financial calculator to find out which of these two options you actually prefer. To answer the question of whether you would prefer a $100 lump sum payment today versus a $118 lump sum payment three years from today at a 6% rate of interest, we can use a financial calculator to simplify our work. And if you have a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator, the buttons on your calculator should look exactly the same as the buttons on the one on my screen right now. What we could do is we could punch in all our values because we already know present value, the rate of return, and the number of years and find future value that way. Or we can use these five buttons on our calculator right here. So let's do it with these five buttons. So we know three is our number of years. And then our interest per year, IY, is 6%. So let's hit six and then interest per year. Our present value is $100. 
our payment. This is the coupon, the coupon payment on a bond. And this is just a zero coupon lump sum payment that we've been talking about this whole time. So payment is going to be equal to zero. And now future value is what we can compute for. So we'll hit compute future value. And that we find that at a 6% of rate of interest, $100 should turn into $119.10 three years from now. So would I rather have $100 today or $118 in three years? I would rather have $100 today.